A couple of days ago, Russia struck Kyiv with drones at midnight. The drones were shut down, yet the debris fell on top floors of a tall apartment buildings and a private house. Luckily, there were no fatal casualties this time, only minor injuries. One person lost apartment to the Russian drone, a family lost a house to the Russian drone, several people lost cars parked outside. This is the second attack on Kyiv in the last two weeks. On December 13, Russia attacked Kyiv with ballistic rockets. The debris damaged four multi-apartment buildings and four private houses, injuring 53 people, 18 were hospitalized. The air warning sounded after the rockets were intercepted by the air defense. First we heard blasts, vibration and rattling of the windows, and then we heard the warning. Why that? Because the range is very short when Russia rocket shells Ukraine from the north. Russia launches ballistic rockets from Bryansk region, sometimes from Kursk or Belgorod region, which is 500 kilometers away from Kyiv, one of their main targets. Ballistic rocket C-400 covers that range in about two and a half, four minutes. Every day, several times per day, Russia strikes other regions of Ukraine with rockets and drones. Now and then there are casualties among civilians. On December 23, Russians shelled Kherson with Iskander missiles, hitting several civilian buildings, a kindergarten and a boiler. They were injured people, one of them a child. On December 26, Russia targeted an evacuation train in Kherson with a rocket and only thanks to an early warning system it was possible to avoid mass casualties among civilians, yet several civilians were injured. On December 27 at night, Russia attacked Odessa with drones. As a result, two civilians died, three were injured, among them a 17 years old boy. And I described just the last couple of weeks and the most outstanding events, skipping less tragic but regular shelling of civilian areas. How do we feel? People live in stress all the time. This will never end. As long as Russia exists, it will be launching rockets from its territory to strike on Ukraine. And every time they do this, somebody loses a house, an apartment, sometimes life, arms or legs. If we could strike back on their territory, we would have destroyed their launching systems with their crews. And then they would realize every time they strike on us, they would lose their equipment and people. And that would have resolved the problem. Until then, Russia will not stop drone and rocket striking Ukraine.